Here's how to quickly combine multiple audio or MIDI clips into a single clip in Ableton Live. Okay, so I've got my Ableton Live set open here and let's start with MIDI. I've got two different takes of MIDI that I've recorded. Let's listen to our first one here. Okay, so clearly very inspiring electric piano. Let's listen to our second one here. Okay, they're in the same key, they kind of flow. What I wanna do is I want the first one to go directly into the second one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just take this one and move this over and drop this right to where it's on beat. Okay. Now, if you look at this clip here in particular, it looks like uh, there's a little bit of extra note happening here. So let's listen to this, All right? So what I'm actually gonna do is just trim that section, grab it and hit delete. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that from the clip. In your case, it may be perfectly clean. You're probably better at recording and playing piano than I am, uh, but I needed to clean that up to make that work. Now, I wanna combine this to, to treat it as one clip in Ableton Live. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna select this clip. I'm gonna hold shift and select this clip. And then in order to combine these together, I'm gonna do use the keyboard shortcut Command J. If you're on a PC, it's gonna be Control J. Best way to think of this is join, right? Command J. So when I do that, it's going to join these MIDI clips together and now they are one clip. Now from here, I could go in and I could say, okay, let's actually set the endpoint of it to be this. Let's select it. Let's do Command L so it loops. And then I could drag this clip so that it continues to loop over and over. But that's part of the benefit of joining and combining those two clips into one. Now let's talk about doing this with audio. But before I do that, I wanna ask you and encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I post a brand new tutorial just like this um, on this channel every single day at 10 a.m. Central for free. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, enable the bell icon. It's a way just to say thanks and it's a way to make sure most importantly, you get the newest tutorials as soon as they go live. Okay, so let's talk about doing this with audio. In the same set, if I scroll over just a little bit further, uh, I've got a couple audio clips. How can we take these two clips and combine them to make them a single clip? So here's what my drums sound like. Let's listen just to the end of this for the sake of time. Okay, and then from there, we go directly into this clip. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is just move these clips together to listen to them to see if they sound right. They may or may not sound right. They may sound disjointed. And I'll talk about if they do, a way to clean that up. So let's listen to this now. Okay, so thankfully that actually sounds pretty good, right? It sounds like they flow well together. If for some reason it doesn't though, here's what we can do. We can zoom in to right at the point where these uh, clips meet and we can select uh, a little bit of time beforehand. Let's, let's select a whole quarter note beforehand, a whole quarter note after the transition. And we're gonna use our fade shortcut, which is command option F. If we're on a Mac, that'd be, I think, control option F if you're on a PC. And you're gonna see it add a crossfade there. Now, again, this was a perfect transition beforehand but let's listen to it with the cross side. It probably isn't gonna hurt anything. Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt. And in fact, if you have clips that are pretty disjointed and, and don't work well together, uh, then this is a really helpful utility to help that transition smooth out. Now, let's talk about how to combine them to make them a single clip though. So I'm gonna zoom out. Same thing we did with MIDI. I'm gonna click on this clip. I'm gonna hold shift to click this clip. I've got both of them. And if you had to think, if you had to guess what a shortcut to join them together to combine them together would be, I'll wait a second. What do you think it is? Yep, that's right. Same exact thing as before, Command J. So when I select these, Command J, Control J is going to create a brand new audio clip with both of these combined. Now it's important to note that our audio clip is gonna be at the sample rate uh, and at the bit depth that you have set in your preferences. If you know what that means, I'll show you really quickly, Command, Comma, it's gonna be 48, and then it's going to be, if we go into recording warp launch, gonna be at the bit depth that you have set here. So if you wanna keep bit depth and sample rate matching accordingly with the samples you already have, you may want to change that and configure it. But that's a really quick look at how to combine MIDI and multiple MIDI and multiple audio clips into one in Ableton Live with a real simple shortcut, again, Command J or Control J. If you want more tutorials like this, really quick tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe, enable the bell icon, and post a brand new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central, completely free to you. I don't want you to miss it. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow, maybe the day after, here on the channel, 10 a.m. Central. Take care, everybody. Bye.